Well, I've got the uh, honor and the privilege of presenting in the general session two, two different presentations this year, both of them with Jeff Ridley, uh, who most of you know is a, is a well-recognized farrier from Iowa. And Jeff and I are putting together a program uh, that we feel will appeal to both veterinarians and farriers. We both recognize the uh, essential nature of the relation, a good positive wor working relationship between veterinarians and farriers. It certainly uh, was a lesson I was taught 45 years ago at the University of Pennsylvania, and that is you, it, this kind of good cooperative relationship is essential to success in equine practice, and it's it's been true over the years. So, Jeff and I are going to be presenting a number of uh, specific cases and covering what the veterinarian's role is in working these cases up, what the farrier's role is, how the two roles are at times separate and at other times how the two, role, two roles overlap and work complementary to one another, all for the benefit of the horse. Jeff and I hope and expect to deliver a presentation which will facilitate farriers looking at their relationships with their with the equine veterinarians with whom they work looking at how they're they're currently working those relationships and what can they do to improve those and to strengthen those in a way that specifically benefits their own farrier practice Jeff and I will also be working together to produce a classroom session on on how to construct a presentation for a professional meeting and then how to put it in PowerPoint so that your delivery is as effective as it can be. We think this is very, very important. Uh, one of our concerns in understanding and implementing proper farriery is that we don't feel we have enough solid evidence. Uh, many of us intuitively know what to do or think we know what to do, but but we could benefit greatly uh, if we could hear more from the farrier's side, their experiences, what works, what doesn't work. But that information has to be put into a legitimate and understandable format for colleagues, and by colleagues I mean both farriers and veterinarians to benefit from it. And so this, that's the purpose of this classroom, is to demonstrate how to put such a presentation together, how to take your ideas and get it into a final product, and then Jeff will take over and show you how to put it into an effective PowerPoint presentation.